It's easy it is to get hurt jumping on a trampoline, but it's also possible to get hurt by a trampoline when they go airborne. This guy is desperately trying to secure his trampoline during a huge storm before it goes flying. Steve Fabian on what happened. Wild wind sends rain blowing sideways as a dad runs outside to anchor his family's trampoline. There goes Bennett. Dad hammers away at the trampoline stakes. Our tramp is pulling out of the ground. Dang it. Suddenly, <gasps> oh my gosh, there goes a neighbor's trap. A neighbor's trampoline flies by. Oh, dang. Bennett, get out of there. Now mom's getting worried, and so is their little boy. You don't get taken too. Then it oh. happens, the trampoline breaks loose. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Thankfully, he gets back up. Social media is filled with videos of flying trampolines breaking loose and soaring through the sky. It's a common misconception that only a tornado or a hurricane can launch a trampoline, but in reality, it only takes 40 mile an hour winds to send one of these things flying into the air. So what can be done to avoid these mishaps? Experts say it's vital to properly secure a trampoline. Daniel Jozanovic is with Nail It Handyman and shows me how a 17-inch spiral tie-down stake can keep a trampoline in place. You find your piece of land that you want to screw it down to. You apply medium to heavy pressure, basically, and you push down as you continuously twist the tie-down stake in. He says the stake should be screwed down between 15 and 18 inches. He adds a zip tie to help fortify it. Like that, and this will prevent it from rocking or going anywhere. Say the wind comes up. It's not going to pull the whole thing up. Look, that's not coming out at all. Repeat for each side of the trampoline. Important safety precautions to ensure your trampoline doesn't go sailing into the wind. <laughs> it's estimated more than a half a million trampolines are sold every year for home use.